Hey guys, today I just want to talk about something pretty bad as that ARM have unveiled. It is a new processor, it's called Cortex A7 processor. Now, uh, what I quickly want to tell you here in the beginning is that this is not just it's like the best power, the best processor ever is gonna kill every single else. It's more powerful than Cortex A9 or Cortex A15. No, that's not the case. The case with this processor here is that it is. It's awesome. Um, you know uh, that ARM 2008 or no 2009 they unveiled the Cortex A8 like processor that like the iPhone 3GS was using and not, like a ton of other phones I assume also be using that. Um, now the thing with uh, this new Cortex A7 processor here um, is that it will be unveiled like in 2013 and basically what it will be able to do is it first of all it is a cheap processor and it is uh, like the tenth of the size of a Cortex A8 uh, but it's twice the speed of a Cortex A8 and as I said there it's going to be cheap as well so uh, it's going to be awesome for $100 handsets and smartphones in 2013. The interesting thing though is that in 2013 when they are going to like launch this processor um, it is um, you know the, these high-end smartphones that we have right like now this year 2011 that cost like 500 bucks and like yeah 500 bucks they are going to be able to sell those with this A A7 processor uh, with the same performance but for only 100 bucks in 2013 so going from uh, like two years later going from 500 to 100 bucks that's pretty awesome that's pretty goddamn awesome and they're coming with here with the new processing uh, you know technology here called big dot little and basically what this means is that uh, on the same chip they will be able to run two processors so as I said, the Cortex A7 processor is really power efficient. So uh, just this year they unveiled another processor, the Cortex A15. I think this is a single core processor. Uh, but you can take these two cores, put them on one single chip, and with this big little technology, basically how it works is that this Cortex A15 processor or this A15 core, it's more powerful. Uh, and uh, you know, you, you sometimes you do powerful things on your phone then you need more processing power sometimes you do less powerful things and usually we don't do we do you know less powerful things less powerful things could be like you know checking you know mail checking your browser you know doing things that doesn't you know calling people doing things that doesn't really require that much processing power so uh, in that case you can with this big little technology it will switch over to the core called Cortex A7 that won't require that much you know processing power uh, and uh, what are you gaining from this well you're gaining up to 70 percent uh, of you know saving your battery life uh, when you aren't doing like uh, extremely hardcore tasks. Now let's say you switch to a game, you, you switch to, like Angry Birds or you uh, start video, you know, taking videos with your camera. Uh, then you may need, you know, more processing power and then the core will like basically switch uh, to that A15 or another like core. Um, so you will be able to save a lot of power uh, used by having this technology. We should remember that Cortex A7 will be twice as good as the processor Cortex A8 uh, and uh, it's kind of insane that it's going to be tenth the size of a Cortex A8 processor uh, but twice the speed. So the twice the speed of an iPhone 3GS and save a ton of power. And uh, now they didn't build like two Kind of epic pictures here where you basically can see how it whole how the whole thing works high-end smartphone 2009 it was this you know cortex a8 uh five millimeter uh and now we are seeing here mainstream smartphone 2011 2.7 millimeter technology and then here in 2013 the entry-level smartphone is going to be like dot 45 millimeter and uh, it's going to be like insane 28 nanomillimeter technology Comparing to like 65 nanomillimeter in 2009 and 2011 here for the 5 nanomillimeter uh, with the Cortex processor. So, yeah, I mean, um, Cortex A8, there's some big, big good guys here. You can here you can see the big little processing how the whole thing works. And that it, on demanding task, you switch um, to the big, you know, better core like uh, when you're playing games, uh, editing videos, 
doing other things and when they're doing like uh, other you know small tasks like uh, playing music you know calling people doing something other you know social media stuff then it switch to that other core so 70 percent like an energy saving that is insane that's that's very insane so i'm really looking forward to the cortex a7 and i really like how they put the price down um, to like you know $100 entry smartphone that's gonna be this powerful so I, I can't wait to see the high-end smartphones in 2013 they're probably gonna be pretty badass so yes sweet um, we'll leave a link in description to um, if I remember this on videos where they talk about this if you're interested so yeah see you.